What's up guys, uh, Vasalem here today and I'm going to teach you how you can sync your gunshots. First off, let me play this clip without any music or anything. Oh, there we go. I'll probably take out that first kill there. Oh, I might leave it in, I don't know. Now tell me guys, was that a good shot? I believe it was. Alright, so I'm not even going to go over, you know, make a new composition, import your stuff. If you're looking at a tour tutorial for gun syncing, you, you know how to do that. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, find your song. I'm using the same song I used in uh, Road to Dose Episode 2. Alright, let's just scroll it forward to like a point where I can start syncing. Alright, and now let's take a listen. Let's. Alright, let's take out the audio for this so I can... Uh, listen to this song. What you want to do is find the points where you want to sing. Alright, so you really want to like get the feel for the song. And basically, if you want to sync your gunshots, uh, something that's really important that I do, I pretty much always do, what you're going to want to do is get gun sounds. Uh, you want to use uh, like artificial gun sounds, not like the game sounds. So mute the game and then import uh, the sound for the gun. All right, now first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to where we want to first sync the song. Look for the listen for the first beat. Alright, so it went down right about there, so let's drag the clip here and see how it sounds. Alright, it was a little early. Let's see if we can precise it more. Perfect! Alright, that's one sync. Uh, it wasn't loud enough, so let's crank up the audio about 3 dBs. And then let's bring out the visual. Alright, so go to the beginning of the gun sound you stuck in. And then drag your clip to the first kill. I'm going to skip that first kill because it was kind of like out of nowhere. And, uh, man. Alright. Let's hold on. Alright. So drag it to where... Alright. So find where the guy shoots his gun. I'll tell you guys how to find that. Alright. Alright, so I'm just trying to find the spot where he shoots his gun. Dragging the clip along here to match what I, sound I've already put in. And you want to see where the gun bounces up for the Barrett because it's not really showing the white flare. So let's see if that works out. Let's see if the gun aims in and shoots at the same time that this goes off with the beat. I hope this tutorial makes sense because... I'm just kind of like rambling on and just saying a bunch of random stuff. So I hope it sounds good. And this, you know, pre-render stuff always takes me a while because my computer is not that good. All right, get ready. All right, I saw the white flash and I noticed it was before the actual gun sound. Oh, wait. Oh, my bad. That was the second shot. All right, so. All right, we've seen the shot. It's gone off. So let's see it. Boom, that's sync number one. And now let's see, all right, so now that we've got the first sync down, we wanna see where else we need to sync it up. So let's take a listen to this song. All right, let's mute the visual one more time. All right, I heard another beat right here, so let's pop in another clip. Let's analyze our video one more time. See how many kills there are. Alright, so after that one, there is another kill. i probably just do two, just so you guys can know what to do, because I don't want to go editing like a full clip. Alright, so let's see if those gun syncs match up real fast. With the beat of the song. 
All right, those two sync up. All right, so what you want to do is. All right, so usually I'll like slow it down. All right, so you know what I was. I mean, <clears throat> all right, this is like the hard part to explain. You notice I put my gun beat in, but it's not synced up with a shot now. So now what you got to do is, uh, there's lots of ways to do this. What I like to do personally, after the shot's done, I like to slow it down. Oh, that's been glitching. All right. So I like to split it a little bit, make it, all right, take like a small part. And then stretch it. Layer. Time, time stretch, usually stretch about 300, and I basically just stretched like when he got out of the clip, just like a nice leave from the clip. So I'll stretch that, and then I'll speed up a little bit to the next gunshot. Like I'll probably speed up like that much. I don't know what that is. I'm like hitting Control Shift D to edit to split, and it's not even working. Alright, so split that, and then we'll speed that up to kind of, I don't know, just, it makes it seem better. Alright, and now let's drag it in, see when we can sync this up. You know, I'm kind of listening to myself right now, and I'm not sure if I'm making a lot of sense. Alright, so sync it up with when the gun goes off so about when it the gun bounces so about right there but this clip was obviously shortened too much so let's whoops let's stretch that back out again time time stretch let's go back to 100 and then let's take a little bit off the end here let's go when he zooms in and stretch that out a little bit so we can match from here to there that's basically what we need to do to finish off this gun sink. Alright. Layer. Time. Time. Stretch. Whoops. Layer. Time. Time. Stretch. I'll probably have to do more. 400. I don't really like to go 400. But I mean you do what you gotta do. Oh man. I gotta stretch this out a little bit too. Alright. I would not recommend doing this. This is just like a weird looking clip. This will probably look pretty bad. This is just basically showing how to sink. I'm just like matching all these with uh, the bars here so that it all runs smoothly and it's synced up. Alright, so now the bars are all aligned. Alright, let's sync it. See how the sync works. So as you can see, we, um, we put the clip in. Uh, put down the two markers where we want our gunshot to go off and then in between the markers to sync that up You want to just kind of edit it the way you want to edit it like maybe you want to like chop it here chop it here Slow it down in between you have to do different things depending on where the gun goes off And where the clips are and this is a really bad bad one. So let's look at it See, that would be perfect. You know what? For the purpose of this, I'm going to throw in another sh shot, too, and see if that syncs up. And I, I noticed there was, like, a white flash, uh, so I need to align the clips better. Right there. So it seems like right about here, I need to stretch something out. Yeah, there it is. I need to stretch this out a little bit. So layer time. Whoa, that's already really stretched out. Let's stretch this. All right, let's stretch this about 130, and if it's it's okay if it overlaps, no one really notices. Whoops, I don't want to save. I'm just used to just saving after like everything. See, the second, sh the third shot came in late, so let's drag that forward a little bit. That seemed about right. So now we want to see. All right. For the third shot, um, all right, we want to take it off. Right there is about a good time to chop it and get to the next thing. All right, so you want to chop it from like at near the end of the first, the shot before, and then about right here is where it, like before he shoots, 
again. Because we don't want to glitch this second clip. Whoops. God. Alright, file. I mean, edit. Split. Layer. See where the gunshot goes off. And move it there. Alright, goes off right about there. So let's layer time stretch. It's, looks about like 130. Maybe a little more. Let's go 140. Alright, let's take a look at this. Let's see if it's synced up here. I'm yes, I'm still alive, but I'm see? It's synced up. How do you like that? Let's watch it again. Yep, guys, that's basically how I sync my montages and whatnot. If you guys enjoyed, uh, good, good. Uh, see if you can drop a like. That'd be much appreciated. And tell me what other tutorials I should do. And, uh, alright, I'll see you guys later.